Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will create end-to-end -end system flow for real-time project. So that project is hospital management system. So to build this project, this tech stack, what we are going to use? Backend we are using Java, Spring Boot. In the Spring Boot, we will use the multiple plugins and front end we'll use angular and bootstrap html so first we'll see the system design how this design will looks for this hospital management system so if you see the real time use case whenever patient visit to the hospital so first they will register patient information and next time onwards they can book the appointment through mobiles so they will call to that hospital and the hospital people they will help to book the appointment to the patients so here one patient can able to treat with multiple doctors with multiple diseases and Coming to the staff, so here we have doctors, nurse, as well as the lab technician, different kind of staffs available in the hospital. And so if you see the system design, so what are the functionalities we are going to provide as per this application development. So if you see this screen, so this is my application like hospital management system. And here I'm concentrating on the backend functionality first. After that, we'll concentrate on front end. So first, this application will use inside hospital people. So these people can log in this application using username and password. So for that one, we need to create user management. This user management is the responsible to handle the users. And next module is patient management. So from this module, you can able to handle all the patient related functionalities and staff management. So this model will cover all the staff related information like nurse, doctors and lab technicians and other things. And if you there is another uh, model like appointment management. So this model handle the future appointments with the doctors and this billing and account details module so from this module you can able to generate all the bills related to the patients and there is one more module inventory management so this is the inventory management is another big module we'll cover this inventory management in another real-time project but what it will cover in the inventory management so there is a medicines they will buy from outside also they will sell these medicines to the inpatients and outpatient so all this information will be stored in this inventory management system and medical reports medical reports means the patient whatever the treatment is given so all these records will stored into this medical records so these are the high level seven module related functionalities we are required to build complete hospital management system <clears throat> so now we'll see individual one by one module what are the functionalities will covered in depth so this is the first module that is user management so so this application can able to access only the people who are already having login credentials means we need to do the registration for that particular user so this module will handle the user registration and if you want to do any modification on this particular user you can able to update that and if you want to delete means when that uh, particular person is resigned or you is not active then we can delete particular user from this user management so these are the three functionalities we are going to handle from this user management module the next patient management first whenever patient come to the hospital first we need to do the 
registration for him so registration parent so it will collect and store patient personal information including name address contact details date of birth and etc and it will assign to the unique id <coughs> for tracking each patient and also we are going to maintain patient records means it will store all the medical history including the past treatment surgeries and also we are updating the patient records with new treatment details okay so if you want <coughs> we are giving some time frame or if that patient is not uh, visited to the hospital either two years or three years then we are uh, given automatic script batch that batch will delete the patient information from the database this is about patient management and next one is the appointment management so if the patient want to appointment with the doctor he will connect to contact to the hospital through mobile and using this application people can help to book the appointment for the patient if the patient already booked the appointment if the patient want to prepone or postpone for this appointment using this update they can able to update this appointment so in the appointment management it will have the capability to link patient as well as the doctor and next one is staff management so what the staff management from what are the people working under that hospital it will come the staff management including doctors nurse lab technicians and other people will collect and store personal and professional details of the staff members including doctor nurse and administrative staffs etc so here also we can assign the unique id for each person and also we are going to create and manage work schedules and shift assignments for staff so from the staff management model you are going to track attendance and performance as well and if you want to update any information related to staff you can update or if this staff is resigned or if you went out of this hospital then again we are going to delete those information from the database and next one is billing and account so this is the billing system so this billing will include all the end-to-end -end billing system related to the patient and the inventory management system so consider there is a medicines available in the hospital so these medicines will be used by the patients right so they will sell this uh, medicines to the patient along with they will purchase these medicines from the outside agencies so here we need to handle these things through inventory management system either purchasing as well as the sales all these things we are going to manage using this inventory management system so another one is medical records so here we are going to store all the medical related information for this patient so there is only the authorized people can have to change this medical records so these are all about the high level models what we are going to add as part of this hospital management system now we can see the flow how this flow will work from the application so here is the user user nothing but the authorized person who have access this application so they can able to perform all these operations from the application so this application is built on angular from the front end and back end we are using java along with spring boot and also there are multiple plugins we are using like jwd transaction mechanism and cache so we are use all these plugins to build this spring boot project so if you see the first use case here so here is the user user is logged into the application so this user is already have the valid credentials so he will use username and password to log into this application so what will happen while well, this user trying to log in this application in the spring boot application we are using jwt token to perform the validation for this user so first time he enter username and password and jwt it will generate the token and this token will return back to the client and again this client will call with the token if the token is valid then it will allow to access these functionalities from the spring boot project 
So this user is trying to register the patient first time. So he will use patient management. So here first time whenever he is trying to register the patient, he will store all the patient information. So he will collect all the personal information from the patient and he will store into the patient table and it will generate one unique ID for this patient. And also this patient, it will assign one doctor. The doctor will have the unique uh, ID. So that information is stored in the doctor table that is assigned to this patient. Treatment is completed. All the treatment related information also will store into the patient table. Also, if you have any, if this patient is admitted in the hospital, then so this patient will have some more extra records. So in this case, it will store all the records into the medical records. So this is related to the patient management. Uh, coming to the appointment management. So this patient is discharged and the doctor is suggested the patient to come check up after one week. Then that time the patient is called to the hospital and he asked for book appointment with the doctor so they will use this appointment management they will try to book the appointment so in this case appointment details will store into the appointment table and also it is having the mapping with patient table also doctor table and if the patient want to do the modification on this appointment like prepone or postpone with the doctor then he will do the operations according to the patient needs next is related to the staff management using the staff management it will collect all the information from the staffs if it is doctor then they collect the required information from the doctor and it will store into the doctor's table and if it is nurse it will store into the nurse table and if it is administrative then it will store the details into the administrator table this all the table will linking with the role based on the role either he is a doctor or nurse or any other administrative person those information will map with this role, role table on this different doctor nurse and administrative table will link those information and next one is inventory this is the inventory management system is a another big thing so we are not covered as part of this project but inventory management system it will deal with the medicines so if the medicines will be used by inpatient also outpatients as well and this medicines also we need to purchase from outside so all this information will deal with inventory management system and coming to the billing and account once this uh, patient is admitted into the hospital till the patient get discharged he will keep all the information in the billing counter only so at the time of which they will generate a complete billing and they will give to the patient and also if the patient is eligible for the insurance clients and also those information will get it from the billing details and billing details whatever the pending amount they will paid by patient so these are the multiple functionalities we require to add in this spring boot project to deal with hospital management system so the all these functionalities we are keeping in only one service itself if we want to uh, convert this one as a microservice architecture also you can able to do in this case we need to create one different service for user management and different service for patient management and also different services for all this management things so in this case this service can become the microservices application and in this case one service can able to communicate with other services that is called microservice communication there again we need to use with the rest template or fake client to communicate with the multiple services but in our case this is the only one service we are adding all these functionalities like we can create the multiple controllers user controller patient controller appointment controller staff controller and inventory control like that we can create the multiple controllers and multiple repositories multiple services and multiple database tables to deal with this complete functionality so here we need the user table and staff table so we are not keeping all the staff related into one database table that is staff table we are dividing this staff table into again multiple tables like uh, for example if he is a doctor then VOCT it is a doctor table and uh, for example if it is like NAS uh, again uh, one more table for NAS 
and if you are having other type of uh, people like administrative then admin underscore table so like this we can create this multiple tables for this people and these tables will link with this roles so each role will have the different kind of role id so doctor will have the different role id and role name and nurse will have the different role id and role name and other administrative people will have the different role id and role name so so like this we are linking these tables with roles so in this case we no need to keep all the staff information in one table this will divided into the multiple tables as per the normalization rules okay so like this we need to design one complete flow for the hospital management system i hope this system design is clear for you if you have any doubts please just comment in the comment box i will help you on this and also you can try to build this hospital management system by your own if you are not able to build this hospital management system just comment in the comment box we build this complete hospital management system in coming videos for you Thanks for watching. If this content is helpful for you, please like, share and subscribe my channel.